And this place is pretty spectacular. They've done a great job with it, with the whole laying of the track, and uh, it's a new facility and it's outdoor, so um, must make a difference when they're building a track like this and give them a little bit more inspiration so they know what to work with. Practice went really good. I feel great. You know, I've got another new engine now too, so I got plenty to play with and uh, opportunity knocks. A new venue here in Denmark, and um, I think they've got a sellout crowd, so uh, should be an interesting atmosphere next uh, tomorrow, and um, we'll uh, we'll see what happens. Everybody knows that the tie is going good at the moment, but uh, as I said, I felt it's been a little bit uphill for me. Even I won two Grand Prix, so uh, I keep fighting, and it's going better and better every time. So. Uh, I keep focused about myself, you know, and then we see what, what happened with the rest of the boys. Practice is practice, but it's a small little service, probably the smallest Grand Prix track we've ever ridden. But uh, no, we look for the setup, you know, and uh, it's a nice surface out there. Yeah, it was great. Um, it didn't break up. It was, um, there's going to be many lines. It's not going to be around the inside or, or on the outside. So it's a little bit too, a bit tighter than Cardiff. Um, everyone was saying it's the same length, but uh, it rides a lot different and it's going to be close racing. The track was very nice, uh, luckily the weather is uh, sunshine so normally Denmark is a bit different but you know, uh, so far this country has been okay so uh, I hope it's going to stand another day. Tracks similar to, to the other one-off tracks, uh, you know, the small stadium tracks so um, yeah, it's going to be a close meeting, uh, it's going to be some close racing in there and uh, I think uh, everybody's looking forward to it.